process here was uh, that I went and like searched for a ring as elemental damage with attack skills and a, and a team one attribute. Um, and then I just like used the opposite essence on this ring until I had like other good stats. Like, like T2 Chaos Res is a pretty good stat. You could keep rolling that until it has like another good stat. And the way that we want to recombobulate these items is basically that um, this is just going to choose everything at random. So the way that I feel the recombobulator works at the moment is that it, it looks at every line on the item. Right? And then it chooses a 50-50 between them. So um, imagine like... It looks at each prefix and then it rolls a 50-50 of whether it adds it or it doesn't. And then it rolls again a 50-50 of which one it adds. So depending on how many prefixes or suffixes uh, your item has, it keeps rolling 50-50 depending on, on, on whether there is a prefix and which prefix is going to keep on the other ring. So it's basically like a huge gamble on whether you're actually going to get a good outcome on these things. But I mean, compared to like old crafting, it's completely busted. Um, and I think one other thing that it also um, favors is the fact that um, there's waiting on the mods themselves. So certain mods are more likely to be transferred over to the item compared to other mods. Um, for example, like when I was trying to craft claws, uh, if I for some reason was rolling mana on them, like uh, then it would always almost carry uh, c carry mana over to the other uh, weapon, uh, which sucked. So oftentimes it's maybe even worth. Um, annulling off mana right but the problem with that is that i found that sometimes it would even just add mana right it, it would even just add random mods to your to to your weapon weighted depending on like the weights that you see on on pwdb right so uh uh don't 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 mind the discord they're just posting <laughs> repos until mods get involved uh how do, how do i post it and copy image <laughs> Uh, yeah. So here you be. Uh, so here you would look at like uh like look at your like rings or whatever. Um, ring. And then you would see like the specific weights, right? So mana has like a huge weight of thirteen thousand. Uh, so it's pretty likely to actually roll that. So thirteen thousand out of sixty-two. Uh, a thousand so yeah i mean yeah so i mean we're just gonna like chuck this in and also one thing i forgot to mention is that it also has a 50 50 chance of choosing the base so here there's a there's a there's a high uh, legit there's a chance that i'm just gonna not get the shaper base on on my ring so um it's like a full gamble basically and it's also like kind of funny how it has like almost like a gacha mechanic when you click it um so we'll see and i also don't know what happens to the end chance so it'd be interesting to see what happens so yeah click it we managed to keep our base we brought rarity over okay so as you can see my ring turned out to be complete complete dog shit um but luckily i kept the base so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go again <laughs> we're just we're just gonna it's actual garbanzo yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go again basically yeah that's <laughs> some shit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'll just buy another ring. Okay, cool. So we're going to recombobulate this and hopefully it doesn't uh, go on to the onset. We got uh, strength. We got global crit. Some life, whatever. Some life there as well. Some dex. Sure. Okay, so we chuck these two together and uh, recombobulate. Okay, we kept uh, shaper influence again, which is really nice. Do you want elemental damage with attacks? Oh my god. Okay, see? That's really good. That's really, really good. That's fucking really good. Do you see what I mean? That's like a really good recombobulation. <laughs> That's a super good recombobulation right there. You see? The, the, like, it's like, yeah, it's complete RNG slots gambling, but it, it, you can make some crazy good shit. Like, the recombobulator is, like, really good. And on top of that, you gotta think to yourself that there's a chance for it to, um, actually roll shit on top of this. So, there's a chance for it to just roll a, just, like, add a frenzy charge or something, you know? It just, like, adds a frenzy charge. Like, oh, here you go, have a frenzy charge. Um, you know? So, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yo. So, that's, a, okay. Back to the video. That's a really good recombobulation. And another one that I did yesterday is I recombobulated this. So, as you can see, we're, we're able to make some pretty good stuff. And this, this process applies to pretty much everything. 
There's a fucking fly in my room. It's huge too. Oh, um, I fucking hate summer, dude. Summer's so bad. It's so gross. Summer, go away. Um. Yeah. Uh, I can't really have like another quick example to show, but you can do this with claws. So the process of crafting claws is exactly the same that I just did. So what you would do is you would you would roll your essence until you have like a T1 modifier and an essence mod, or alternatively, an essence mod and a T3 mod or whatever, right? And then you put them together and you just hope that it combines the essence mods together. So in this case, I had two essence mods and a T3. And then when I when I put them together, it upgraded the T3 to T1. Um, but this was after like combobulating like seven of them. So the process is like long. And, and then you always end up with like maybe like one base that has like this much and the other base that has that, that much. Um, and then you lose the base. Uh, I don't have any weapon. Oh, actually, I have one. I have one uh, weapon recombobulator. So uh, I could put it here together. Maybe we can have like a quick example on how to do this. Uh, so for example, I made this base with a recombobulator, which is really sick because it has Sentinel um, mod on it of Onslaught, which is a really cool mod. Um, and you, you can see it also has lightning damage, but unfortunately it has mana. And mana is is just disgusting because it's gonna carry on all the time uh i don't want to annul it i think it's too risky to annul so what you would try to do here now is you would um you would take for example like uh is it lining that shit uh i actually don't have any essences to craft this with i only have wrath essences mm, do i have any anger essences i do okay i have one anger essence so for example <clears throat> you would use an anger essence and now you have uh, uh, essence fire damage, some lightning damage, some accuracy or whatever. And what you're hoping for here is you're hoping to carry on the the essence lightning damage onto this claw. And if you if you get the essence fire damage onto the claw on the left, then what you can do is, is your your claw is basically just done, right? Um, you you just like either craft crit or you craft attacks uh, or attack speed or whatever, right? Ideally, I would probably want to roll my essences until I have fire damage and something else, but... I mean, we're just gonna do this for uh, the sake of uh, learning. Even though this is probably a waste of like a decent claw, but we'll, let's, let's see what happens. Mm. So we got the essence mods on there. And we kept the onslaught effect, you see? So this is like actually really good. Because now we have... Uh, essence fire damage. T1 lining damage, and we have onslaught effect on there still. And this is now a claw that we can recombobulate with another claw. Uh, and the process with the other claw would be that I add uh, essence of hatred on the other claw, and I hope that essence of hatred is then uh, uh, blended onto this claw. So um, for this, for the sake of this chat, if any, if any of you have a um, a recombobulator, I would I would like buy it off you like right now, just so we can do this example. So okay, I I'm gonna blend these two together, and what I'm hoping for here is to get the cold damage to go onto the rift impaler, and to keep onslaught effect. That would be that would be awesome as well. So we click that. Now we get fire damage, damage over time, and onslaught effect. So you see, you can go back and forward, like the claw is complete garbanzo now, but. We still kept the onslaught effect and we still have uh, the, the flat fire. So you just repeat this process until you have something like this. I know that sounds crazy, but that's exactly what you're doing with these claws. Is you're, you're doing that and then you end up with like something like this or you end up with um, something like this, for example, where you have a uh, essence, essence and a T3 or whatever. And then what you can do from there is you go prefix can't be changed and you use a veiled chaos orb. Um, and then you, you block before you unveil, you want to block damage per charge. So that can be damage per power charge, frenzy charge, or endurance charge. You just block that. Uh, and then you unveil and there's a high chance of you getting either a critical strike chance or attack speed or double damage or critical strike multiplier while nearby enemies, you know, those are the good ones. So that's what you're after. And you think to yourself like, oh, you're doing this over and over and over again. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's kind of expensive to do it. But when you compare it to 
um, you know, how like a claw like this would have costed like 50 exalts last league or some, sh some shit like that, or even more. Uh, and you can make them this league for like 3x or something. It's pretty absurd, right? Like it's, it's pretty good regardless of how expensive it is. Um, and the fact that the recombobulators only cost like 10 C makes this strategy completely busted. And also the fact that you can, uh, basically just farm shitload of them. Uh, as long as you have like one of these with sentinel reward. So that's what you're after. You're after Sentinel Reward one. Uh, and yeah, that that is a quick uh, a quick little uh, crash course on uh, how I use the recombobulators. And you can also uh, basically just have this for everything, right? So imagine I wanted to make a shield it has double stats, life. Uh, I get another shield with another stat and like something else, and then I put them together and I just hope to merge it. Uh, so yeah. One thing to know is that you, you cannot bring over uh, an influence mod onto a non-influence base, but you can bring over fractured modifiers, so you can make double, triple, quadruple fractured modifiers onto a weapon. Uh, like this, for example, like double fractured uh, on ring. Uh, one thing you I don't think you can do is I'm not exactly sure whether you can have a synthesized implicit and then bring over a fractured mod. That is one thing I have not experienced with yet. Uh, and another thing that you can do though is you can get like random modifiers on onto your onto your shit. So um, there's like Sentinel. There's somewhere on on QDB the a way to see like all the new Sentinel mods that you can get. But there's like Frenzy Charge. There's like um, weird things like you saw like Onslaught effect uh, on this and so on and so forth. And yeah, you can make some pretty really cool items. This league uh, also you can bring over things that are like um, their their base. Uh, specific so you can bring uh, suppression over from a dex base onto an armor base or uh, max res over to a dex base um, would you try to null off for recombing from my experience uh, if you want to be safe you can null off but recomb uh, the recombiners literally can just add things you know it, it can it can treat item as, as like a chaos sword so sometimes you will you will annul your base down and then it will just like add whatever it wants like it will just re-add mana so what whether it's worth it or not is something that you probably have to like see in the long run uh, but it's uh, at the moment i feel like if you have a really really good base right if you have like imagine i have a, a base that has double essence mod and then onslaught effect, and that's isolated. Then what I would want to do on the base that I'm trying to merge to get triple essence mod is I would probably annul that because the base that I'm trying to merge into is so good that it's worth doing it. But you, you, one thing you gotta remember is that, for example, what happened to my claw here is it chose the other base that I know, right? It chose the other base that I know that had three mods, so it's a 50-50 to choose between the other base or or your main base, what happened is I got completely screwed. So it went from being like a five mod item to being a two mod item. So it's it's it's, it's just it's completely like slot machine. <laughs> it's random. <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's at the moment it's still really hard to know exactly what the best process to craft these things. But so far, I feel like you should just experiment because essences are free. Um, well, not free, but they're really, really cheap. And recombobulators are also, also extremely cheap uh, for what they do. You know, they're like they're power, they're incredibly strong, and they're like 10 C, and you can farm them up. I have yet to buy a single one, right? And I've been, I've been recombobulating everything. You know, I made like five or six or seven claws <laughs> since since early days. And uh, yeah, and if you find something that's like extremely cool and nobody knows about, you can also make a lot of money. So. But, uh, you know, I, we would probably appreciate it if you, you know, uh, uh, didn't keep it to yourself and you told people <laughs> so, so that we can learn and we can make cool shit together. Or, 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 or uh, you know, yeah. So, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much recombobulators. <laughs>